Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hello. Welcome back problem 3-16. So in this problem it is given that the wire has diameter of 5 mm and is made up of A36 steel. If 80 kg man is sitting on seat C determine the elongation of wire DE. So you can see this figure that a man of 80 kg is sitting at point C and the diameter of wire is 5 mm. So you have to determine the elongation in this wire. So from given data, it is given that diameter of wire DE is equal to 5 millimeter and that is made about A36 steel. So for A36 steel, we must know what is the value of modulus of elasticity and what is the value of its yield stress. Here, so we will go to the end of this book mechanics of material by rc hibbler and we will go to this table average mechanical property optical typical material engineering material si unit because the units is si so from here we can get a36 steel so its module of modules of elasticity is 200 uh, giga pascal and its yield strength is 250 so we will write it 200 and 250 so e is equal to let me check e is equal to 200 giga pascal e is equal to 200 giga pascal so giga is 10 raised to power 9 pascal and yield stress is equal to 250 mega pascal 250 mega pascal so mega is 10 raised to power 6 pascal also we have to find out the elongation of wire DE so we have to find the change in length or elongation in DE so let's start with the solution so for finding the elongation we must know the load in wire DE so we will draw the free body diagram and then we will solve it to find out the load in wire DE so if I remove this force clear so this is AC clear so at C point we have a load of man which is 80 kg so 80 into 9.8 will give you this load W and that will be in Newton here at point A so this is point A so if you remove this in support so definitely there will be horizontal force AX and there will be a vertical force AY at point this D there is a wire of A36 so force in that wire will be equal to F D E Again, this length is equal to 800 mm and this length is equal to 600 mm. Also, if you look at this is 800 and this is 600. So, if 600 divided by 800, so 0, 0 will be cut. So, 6 by 8 which is equal to 3 by so the ratio of their length is 3 by 4 so if I draw a right angle triangle because it will form a right angle triangle so this length is 4 and this length is 3 and if you are interested to find out this hypotenuse so by using Pythagoras theorem it will be 5 now we will apply equilibrium condition about point A sum of all movement about point A that is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive in order to find this F D Y. So movement about point A is due to this one force 
due to this and the second is the vertical component of this force so we will start from this so 80 into 9.8 and this force is producing clockwise movement and perpendicular distance is 1800 plus 14 600 which is equal to 1400 and that 1400 will be equal to 1.4 meter and it is producing counter clockwise clockwise so it will be negative the second component uh, the second force which is producing movement about point a is the vertical component here so this is the vertical component and this vertical component is equal to this is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive so this vertical component is equal to fde into 3 over 5 how because if you take here theta clear so sine theta is equal to 3 over 5 into this uh, hypotenuse which is fde so fde into 3 over 5 okay and perpendicular distance is 18 800 which is equal to 0 0.8 meter their sum must be equal to 0 so from that when you calculate this so you will get fde is equal to 2289 newton 2289 newton now you have this force in wire a36 wire fde so we will find the stress so fde is equal to stress in while DE is equal to force into force DE divided by area DE. So force is also available which is equal to 2289 Newton and area of diameter of wire is 5 millimeter. So again 5 will be converted into meter. So pi by 4 D square and D is equal to 0 0.005 square and from here you will get this is equal to 116.58 mega Pascal again you can see this Sigma DE is less than Sigma yield because Sigma yield is equal to 250 mega Pascal clear so this wire lies in the range of uh, elastic limit so we can apply Hopla we can apply Hopla in order to find the strain. So when you apply Hopla, so stress is equal to strain into modulus of elasticity. So here strain in BD in DE will equal to stress in DE divided by this E. So stress is equal to 116.58 mega Pascal. So mega will be 10 to power 6. And E is given as 200 into 10 to power 9 Pascal. So 200 into 10 to power 9. So when you calculate it, you will get the strain in B in DE is equal to this is DE is equal to 0 0.5829 into 10 to the power minus 3 millimeter per millimeter now you have strain so from this strain we will get the elongation of pi as we know that uh, this strain BD uh, sorry DE is equal to change in length of DE divided by original length DE so original length DE can be calculated if you apply Pythagoras theorem either you can use 800 square plus 600 square under the root it will give you some value or you can have this value 3 and 4 and 5 so this 5 feet uh, sorry 5 meter there uh, sorry you can also use it all uh, because this is the uh, ratio of these two sides so again this if it is better to take this length and this length de will be equal to 
600 square plus 800 square under the root. So from here you will get this length will be equal to 1000 millimeter or 1 meter. Clear? Now you can put you have this value, you have this value, you can find this. So change in length of DE or elongation in DE is equal to strain in DE multiply by length of DE. Now you have both the value. So this change in D length of DE is equal to strain which is equal to 0.5829 multiply by original length multiply by 10 to the power minus 3. And the original length is 1000 millimeter. So when you multiply it you will get the change in 0 0.583 millimeter. So this is the change in length of wire DE which is 0 0.583 when a man of 80 kg sits on point C. So the total the wire DE stretches 0 0.583 millimeter I hope you have understand now and you can solve such a problem thank you for watching